Good morning, everybody. I am headed to lunch with my amateur radio friends way down in Greer, South Carolina. It's a 24-mile trip from here and back. And the reason I wanted to make this video is it's cold, it's 47 degrees, it's raining. It's just overall a nasty day. When I got up this morning, the car was at 27% from last night. I went to another amateur radio function, got home late, and did not charge the car. I threw it on the wall connector this morning, which uh, charges the car. And we'll talk about that in an upcoming video. But the point is, I went from 27 to 42%. And I'm headed south. Now, a lot of you folks that are new to EV and or maybe you're driving a, a gas or diesel car are looking into electric cars. First thing everybody gets is what's called range anxiety. Range anxiety is the fear of running out of gas or running out of electric charge in your car. Electricity is relatively new to a lot of folks. Uh, however, the systems in my Tesla here are very, very good at predicting my range, depending upon atmospheric conditions, rain, cold, wind, those kinds of things. And you can very well trust exactly what it says. So this short video is going to show you that I've left here with a predicted arrival percentage, if you look here, if I get it. Right there, 33% when I get down to Harvey's. What's not shown here on the map is I'm going to make yet another detour. I'm going to stop by and pick up my buddy Greg, who's also an amateur radio operator. He's out of the way by four or five miles, but it doesn't matter. The range is plenty. Now, the battery currently is reading a whopping 41%. We're down a percent so far in our trip. And I'm very comfortable in taking this car at a state of charge of 42%. Better part of 50 miles. Now, the battery is rated for about 300 miles on a full charge. The uh, half of the battery, or 50%, is about 150 miles. We're at 40% of 300. Doing a little back of the napkin math, and I don't run off the road here. I uh, would predict that it has something like maybe 120 miles. Let's have a look. Yep, 130 miles here. If we look here, by tapping the percentage uh, icon there left of the battery indicator, it switches to miles. So we're gonna put 50 miles on plus in this cold weather. The car also uses energy to maintain uh, the sentry mode when I stop. We'll be there probably an hour and a half. Sentry mode is going to be running. I uh, will not keep the cabin at any kind of temperature. Just before I leave, however, I get on the app and I warm up the car. And that allows me to get into a nice car with warm seats, warm steering wheel. And, you know, it's really nice to get into a warm car. All right. Well, let's see how today develops. There's really not any kind of uh, things to see. You've seen a lot of the back roads here. We're going to be traveling down Highway 14 all the way to Greer. I'll uh, do the detour and pick up Greg, and then uh, we'll head south uh, to Harvey's Restaurant where we meet. Just arrived at Greg's house. We're going to pick him up and head to Harvey's. All right, we are now at Harvey's, the original Harvey's for lunch here. 99 miles on the meter. We had a nice uh, lunch with all the guys, and then uh, now it's raining like crazy here. Leaving uh, Harvey's original restaurant here at 91 miles. We're headed over to Matt's now to deliver a part. Yeah, of course, look at the rain. We're uh, right in the middle of rain uh, here. Obviously, that's uh, my lot in life, having all this rain. I'm here with Greg. Uh, we went and had lunch. Say hi, Greg. Hello guys, how are you doing out there? Yep, Greg and I are both amateur radio operators and uh, we went and did a little uh, Christmas meeting with uh, some of the guys here in uh, Greer. 
We're heading over to our buddy's house. Uh, we're going to drop off some connectors for a project he has. And uh, just uh, so far, we're at 76 miles of range. Ooh. Are you feeling it? Yeah, I bet you are. That range anxiety is creeping up on you. We just delivered our connectors to our buddy Matt, and uh, we arrived with 73 miles of range, and of course, that's 23%. Ooh, are you guys getting nervous now? 23%, and uh, we've got to drive all the way back to Tryon. We're leaving this area, heading back to Greg's house in Greer. Yeah, I just dropped Greg off, and uh, if we look here, you can see the uh, battery warning. And uh, it's uh, just warning me that I shouldn't leave it at this low state of charge. 52 miles left. And uh, for you percentage folks, that's 17%. So my question is, are you getting nervous yet? Do you have range anxiety? Hmm. Okay, well, this gets better. My wife just called. Uh, Luna was in the vet today. She had uh, to get a little uh, something removed off of her uh, gum or something and her teeth cleaned. And uh, she's now ready to be picked up. So I'm not headed home yet. We are uh, 25 miles uh, south of my house and I've got to go and pick up my Luna. The weather continues to rain and be nasty. Temperature now 41 degrees. Thirty-five miles to go and probably we're gonna burn up most of that. Are you scared yet? Back in the town of Landrum now, South Carolina. It says uh, 30 miles of range left before we run out. Hmm. Oh no, look at that, 9% and we'll be out. We're getting off here at this exit and uh, we're gonna go pick up my dog. Look at that, 6%. Should I freak out? Huh? Should I freak out? 6%, oh no, it's red. Look it, oh no, it's red. Should I panic? What's this message? No. What am I going to do? I'm not home yet. And look, 6% left in miles. That's 18 miles left. Should I call a tow truck or something? I better get my dog. Just got Luna in the car and we're headed home. 5% now. Am I going to make it? I'm not sure. I can't even see the battery level. Oh no. Man, this is getting bad. 3%. Am I going to make this thing? Oh, came up to 4. Awesome. Now this is getting scary. 3%. I'm not even home yet. Now that was close. I had no idea that I would be driving that much today. No, actually I did. I didn't expect picking up my dog, but uh, it really wasn't an issue. All right, let's have a look here. We arrived with 3%. 3% is uh, nine miles. One of the things you learn here in the Tesla, when the navigation in the car says you'll have a given range, you're pretty darn sure that you're gonna get that range. Range anxiety shouldn't even be a thing in a Tesla. Now, I can't speak for some of the other EVs, but I can tell you from experience, and you saw for yourself today, you don't need to have range anxiety in a Tesla. If you like today's video, go ahead and click the like, and if you would, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll look for you in the next videos, and take care.